What's up guys, welcome back for another live in the OU tier today. I wasn't going to use this team, this is a team that my buddy Jose passed me, Shiny Weavile. Check him out and uh, on Twitter in the description down below. I don't think he has a channel, uh, so I'm going to link his, uh, his Twitter down below. But he passed me this team, and I looked at it, and immediately I said, this looks like the most boring standard team imaginable. And then I started playing it, and I knew I had to start recording the second Clefable outsped a Dragalge and knocked it out. So, let's just hop into it. We've got uh, Mega Metagross, Latios with Thunderbolt, which is really nice for the likes of Azumarill, other water types in the tier like Manaphy. Very nice for caching them on the Switch. Uh, we got Clefable with Flamethrower, Calm Mind, Moonblast, and Softboil. Lack of yellow magic. Kind of sucks, but it's fine. Uh, we have Rocky Helmet, Landorus, Specs, Keldeo, and finally, Choice Scarf, Tyranitar, which is very nice. So, it's looking like a... Uh, this is looking like food for Tyranitar. Look at this. Alakazam dies. Uh, <laughs> Gengar dies. Gardevoir pretty much gets destroyed by an, a crunch. It's looking pretty nice. Alright, let's lead off with... Uh, I think I want to lead off with Latios. Uh, just because the Garchomp is such an obvious lead. But then again, that could be a bad idea. Now nah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's lead off with Latios. If he leads off with Gardevoir, then... I mean, we're losing him on, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Our opponent disconnects. Let's give him a chance to get back into this game. Uh, while, uh, while we're here... Uh, let me know uh, in the comments down below guys what you want to see as lives because we're coming up to Sun and Moon and Everybody's seen every possible OU live imaginable if you guys want to see me use teams With like mons from the PU tier or the NU tier up in OU. Let me know That's kind of what MV does on his lives uh, or if you want to see me I don't know uh, hit up uh, the lower tiers a little bit more because they're less explored than OU uh, then let me know that. Just in general, let me know what you want to see down below, and uh, and I'll try to bring that to the channel. Uh, definitely want to let you guys, uh, like you have, you guys have a chance to watch something you actually want to watch. So this is uh, this is just a fun, laid-back live. I think that's what it's going to be, especially since our, four, our our opponent disconnected like right away at game one. So luckily we're only two minutes in. I won't count this, of course, but uh, let's just uh, let's move on to the next game. Oh wait a minute, did he come back? Uh, he did join. Okay, all right. So we're not looking for another match. All right, cool, cool, cool. So he does lead off with Gengar. Now this is a speed tie, <laughs> and I'm uh, I'm kind of scared to take it. So what I'm gonna do is just switch out into Titar. I'm gonna play it safe, as my opponent uh, goes to the Shadow Ball. So we Pursuit Trap this thing and knock it out. We are Choice Scarfed. Pursuit should knock it out. Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, Destiny Bond, awesome. So <laughs> the sand is gonna kill him, and uh, we don't go down to that. So that's awesome. Titar stays alive, and that's what I meant by Titar being uh, being very good this matchup. Now my opponent's gonna go into Quagsire, and I am terrified of this thing because it has unaware, and it's about to start cursing up. I, I, like you don't even have to tell me what it's about to do. I know what it's about to do. Uh, so I have to go hard into Kelio here. Uh, pretty much, he does go for a curse. We are Specs Kelio with uh, Hydro Pump, so this should easily be a two-hit KO. Uh, I'm just thinking about what he could switch in. Gardevoir isn't really a switch in unless it's Scarfed. He could be Mega Zam, for all we know. Even Mega Garchomp, who knows, uh, to counter Sand, maybe. Uh, but I like uh, I like just Hydro Pumping here. It'll easily be a 2 at KO on this Quagsire. He does go for another Curse. Uh, that is the incorrect play. He should have probably recovered just to scout what kind of set I was. Uh, but then that doesn't really gain him anything anyway, so. So we're just going to... Hydro Pump again, the power of Spex Keldeo, man. I hate Scarf Keldeo, like, Scar Scarf Keldeo is, is like, terrible. Alright, so he, he left again. Um, I don't know uh, what to do here. Uh, I think we should just find another game at this point, because, you know what, let's, uh, let's just do this. Maybe he doesn't know how to get back if we do this. Nice mod join sync, thank you. You guys see that creeping in over here. Um... But uh, yeah, let's hop into another game because this guy is, uh, is going in and out. I don't know if there's a problem with his connection or whatever, but uh, we get a much more interesting game. This is kind of a game where Latios can definitely shine because it outspeeds uh, five members outside of Choice Scarfers. Uh, and realistically, only either Lando, Darmanitan, or the Excadrill are going to be Scarfed. And what's also good is that I can catch Torn on a switch with uh, Thunderbolt and pretty much put it in range of dying to Rocky Helmet, if rocks are up, of course. Uh, if it's AV, and then uh, there's also a Thunderbolt for the Manaphy, so like I was saying before, this is really nice. Um, I really like just leading off with Lando in this matchup, mainly because of Torn. I figured this would lead. Hopefully he's not HP Ice, but that shouldn't knock us out from full anyway. So I'm just going to go for a Stealth Rock. He does go for knockoff and gets rid of our Rocky Helmet, so a little unfortunate. But uh, we do see that he is an Assault Vest set rather than a... 
um, a life orb set, which is really nice to know. I'm just going to fire off a U-turn here. He does go for the hurricane and misses, unfortunately for him. And uh, we are going to get a very easy pivot out into Tyranitar. And I really want to scout for the um, for the superpower right here. So I'm going to go hard into Clef on this turn. Uh, as he does go for the U-turn. Okay, so either he was afraid that he wouldn't knock me out because of the minus one attack. Or he doesn't have superpower. It's one of the two. So uh, I'm feeling like the U-turn is definitely coming here. I don't think he would stay in. All right, so our other opponent just came back from what I can see. Flare Blitz is going to do a lot of damage, leading me to believe that this thing is probably choice banded. Uh, but I feel like I can pretty much safely switch into Keldeo now. It is a resist to this Flare Blitz, and he's at minus one. He's not choice banded. Okay, and he goes for a superpower, so that's going to do a lot to us. But we do outspeed this Darmanitan now, and it comes in on rocks and comes in at 3%, so that's very nice. Um, he didn't take uh, life orb damage from anything, did he? No, he did from superpower, yeah. Uh, oh, it's true. Flare Blitz does have a secondary effect. It can burn. It's true. I, I, com I had completely forgotten about that, you know. Let's just go for a Scald. We're able to knock out this Darmanitan. Huge threat gone. That's very nice. Metacham does come in, I'm assuming, just to fake us out, which, uh, yes, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, like, you're not going to knock me out with that, and then I just get off another free Scald, so. Uh, as you can see, our opponent uh, came back and then just uh, forfeited again. So, uh, yep, we won that battle pretty easily. And uh, we can close this now and move back into this much more important battle as we get off a big Scald on Metacham and knock it straight out. So that was very nice. Uh, Tornadus does come back in. We've seen Knock Off, Hurricane, U-Turn. Uh, at this point, I don't need Lando for much, maybe outside of his uh, own Lando or Excadrill. But even that, like, I have decent checks to those. Uh, as long as I keep this Keldeo alive, his uh, Excadrill should be in check. Uh, prevent it from ever going for Iron Head. I mean, he could play off of Iron Head flinches for sure, but... Uh, I think Metagross is relatively safe here because knockoff doesn't knock off an item, so it's not that strong. And we can just go straight for the Meteor Mash here. This is a Mega Metagross, of course. Very, very powerful Mon. Uh, Jaro was actually saying earlier today, or yesterday, if, uh, if you're watching this on the day that it's coming out, uh, that Mega Metagross should be banned in OU because it, there's nothing that switches in and takes two hits. Obviously, if you predict out around Mons, or if you miss Meteor Mash, uh, then it's much harder to get KOs, but um, yeah, I just want to calc something up real quick, guys. Sorry, I, I stopped talking there for a second, but I just want to see because um, this thing has leftovers. Mega Metagross, we already have it up on the calc. Hammer Arm does 191 to 225. Wow. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, I think even if he's max HP, like max HP, max defense, we still kill him. <laughs> 252 like bold yeah we still knock him out so let's just go for the hammer arm and knock out this excadrill that's awesome we are minus one speed now so we do have to watch out for the landorus because it can easily come in he actually chooses to go into manaphy nothing it can go for will knock me out so i'm just going to t-punch even though he can tail glow it's not a big deal because at this point i can sack off my t-tar put up the sand uh, if he goes for rain dance that could potentially be bad but uh, he does just to go for a Scald, that's perfectly fine. We can now go out into Latios, fire off a Thunderbolt. He might be tempted to go out into Torn. He does not, he stays in with Manaphy, that's awesome. Uh, Torn is going to come out here, and like I said before, as long as Metagross is alive, we're pretty much good. I do kind of want to keep this Latios just in case uh, that Landorus is uh, Scarfed. It can spam EQ. So uh, he does get a crit hurricane in the sand and confuses me, uh, but he actually chooses to forfeit. Not sure why. Uh, I don't know if he thought he wasn't going to land the next one or what was going to happen on the following turn, but uh, he actually had a decent chance to win just between pivoting between Lando and, and Torn. Uh, that still gave, gave him a chance to win, but anyway, uh, the fact that we kept Lottie pretty much secured it for us, so that's, uh, that's going to finish up that one, and we can get another one immediately. Uh, LT7Z, oh yeah, that's right, we haven't started Ladder Tour yet, I gotta make my alts. But uh, this guy's also got a team that's extremely weak to Mega Metagross, as you can see. Hammer Arm plus um, plus Meteor Mash plus Ice Punch hits five members out of his team. Just those three coverage moves. So that's that's actually pretty ridiculous. Uh, and then obviously this thing cannot hit Mega Scizor, uh, but I don't, I don't think that even is Mega Scizor because he has an Altaria. So um, we can definitely still hit Scizor with like Hammer Arm. Uh, I'm thinking probably just lead off with. Uh, I like Keldeo. I really like Keldeo as a lead. I just don't like the presence of the Zapdos there. 
But I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna lead off with Keldeo. He does lead with Altaria, so that's a pretty bad lead situation for us. I do have a Metagross, however, and a Clefable. I'm gonna go straight into Clefable, because one of two things happens here. He either DDs up, thinking that he can dodge a burn, or he goes for a special attack like Fire Blast, trying to catch my Metagross, which is why I didn't want to go hard into it. So, at this point, I think I'm just gonna actually fire off a, a Moon Blast here, as he does go Zapdos which is good. I think he predicted the Thunder Wave, and he wanted to be immune to it. He didn't want to switch directly into his Heatran, which is actually a very good play. Uh, but now we can just go for the Soft Boiled on whatever this thing wants to do. It does go for Discharge, does not paralyze me, luckily. And I'm just gonna throw out another Boon Blast here. Weaken this Zapdos a little bit. He does go for another Discharge. He is gonna get the Para on that turn. That's a little unfortunate. But uh, we're just going to throw out another Moon Blast here. Um, if he doesn't have Volt Switch, then he's not getting initiative off of me, which is nice. Uh, we are just going to throw out another one here. Do lower his special attack, which is nice. He's not going to be doing as much with Discharge anymore, which means he pretty much has to get out of here at this point. And a weakened Zapdos is pretty much a useless Zapdos in against my team. So um, I really want to pull the double into Keldeo here, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. Uh, he will pressure stall my Moon Blasts should I uh, decide to not call Mind Up ever, which I'm going to do right now. And now I really want to pull a double into Keldeo, because now his discharge, just discharges are doing absolutely nothing, and I can call Mind Up all the way and like almost 1v1 his team, so I don't see him staying in. At the same time, I don't want to switch in my Keldeo onto Discharge, and I can always uh, come back, I can come in with it on his Heatran, so it's not a big deal. I figured it was coming in, but I couldn't pull the trigger. It was very, very dangerous because Keldeo has such a good matchup this game. Uh, he does just go for rocks, that's fine. Uh, we can two a KO Clef with a Hydro Pump. It's just Altaria that's kind of standing in our way, but now that I know that it's a special Altaria, I can deal with it a little bit better um, because he's probably not expecting Metagross to come in here on this turn. I also don't think he would be max speed on this team um, just because he has so much support for Altaria around it, so... I think I'm just gonna go hard into Metagross this time, actually. I think that's fine. Um, if anything, he doubles here, predicting me to either go back into Clef or something like that. I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, did we get to see if, uh, I think it was Pressure, right, when it came out? Yeah, it was Pressure, okay, good. Alright, so that means that he will not be able to static Mega Metagross, which is probably the most important thing in this game. I need Mega Metagross. It takes down like four members effectively, so very, very nice. Um, I do not want to Hydro Pump again because he could just Roost. Uh, going into Metagross is a little bit risky because Hyper Voice into Fire Blast might actually kill me. So let me just see Altaria, OU, Special Attacker. Hyper Voice into Fire Blast does kill, but this set doesn't run enough, enough speed to outspeed Mega Metagross before Mega Evolution. So he has to predict me once again here uh, to go into Mega Metagross and Fire Blast immediately. And even at that, he doesn't knock us out. He does a maximum of 79.7%, granting that he is not max special attack, but even that doesn't take me out. We do go straight into Metagross here. He is just gonna Hyper Voice. That's awesome. That does a lot of damage. What should that do? 32% before the Mega. Uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. That does make sense. I think that's a higher roll. But I really like just uh, going for an Ice Punch right here. I think it's my safest play all around. Uh, as he does go into Scizor, that's absolutely fine. He's probably just going to U-turn here. Uh, he actually is Leftovers, so that's something to note. We're just going to go hard into Lando here. I think that's fine. He might just U-turn, but it's okay. Uh, I'm alright with that. He does go for the knockoff actually, able to get rid of our Rocky Helmet, but that's alright, like I said. Uh, his defogger should be a Zapdos. I'm just going straight for rocks. I don't care if he goes hard Zapdos, I can stone edge it, and I just want it to take me down, basically. He does go into Zapdos, that's fine. This thing normally runs more speed than I do, so I think it would be able to knock us out with an HP Ice. He does choose to go for defog though, which is awesome because he gets rid of the rocks on our side as well. And we do see that he's faster, and I'm not sure if Discharge actually runs HP Ice. We will test it out. Uh, I could look up the set, but I'm not really in the mood to look up a Zapdos set right now. He does go for HP Ice, that's absolutely fine. Uh, Titar is Scarfed. It will do a tremendous amount of damage to pretty much anything that comes in, barring perhaps Breloom. I think it too KOs everything, actually. We're just going to go for Stone Edge. Uh, at this point, he should know that we're Scarfed because of the way we brought this in, but I guess he doesn't, and he lets his Zapdos go down, which is awesome for Keldeo. That's huge. That's that's enormous. 
He does go into Breloom. I'm fearing this thing being a sub focus punch set like the one we used. Uh, I'm just gonna go hard into Clefable. If he is uh, Toxic Orb uh, with sub, then that's fine. He does just go for the Rock Tomb. That is definitely... What is that? Is that Choice Bandit? That just did 50% to my Clefable. What? That's insane. Hold on a second. Breloom. Life Orb Technician Attackers... Um, hold on. Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb. Yeah, Life Orb does 34 to 40. This has to be Choice Banded. This is 100% Choice Banded. There's no two ways about it. I really want to go into Keldeo right now, but that... Ugh, Altaria in the back. I'm going to go into Keldeo. Awesome, we catch the heat trend. That's what I was hoping for. Not just that, but also the fact that Breloom was locked into Rock Tomb meant that it couldn't hit us super hard. Uh, because we, it is a resist, of course. And at this point, how much did Hydro Pump do earlier? Because I think Scald might be able to 2-hit KO if that's the case. If it did a lot of damage. When did we go for it? It did 42. It did 42, so Scald should do about... Um, I'm thinking around 31, 30%. So it should be a 2-hit KO. Let's see. He does go into Breloom, risks it getting burned. That's awesome. And it does get burned. And I'm assuming it's got Mach Punch. So I'm going to conserve Keldeo here, and I'm going to go hard into Clefable. He'll let this thing go down, I guess, uh, by letting it Mach Punch me, which is awesome. And I don't even know if his Heatran has Flash Cannon, honestly. It's his Rocker, right? That's what set up rocks, was Heatran. Yeah, it wasn't Clefable. I don't think he's ever brought out Clefable even once. Um, we still... I mean, we don't have Hazard removal on this team. Uh, we do. We do have... We, we have Latios. Okay. Uh, I'm going hard into Keldeo, regardless. He does go into Altaria. That's absolutely fine. Uh, knowing that this thing is special makes it so much easier to deal with because it can't set up on me. So I can just go hard into Clefable. He shouldn't be able to knock me out with any one hit. So I'm just going to throw off a Moonblast now. He just goes for a Hyper Voice. We're going to get off a lot of damage on this Altaria with this Moonblast. And we are going to go for another one. I'm assuming he's going to try to play off a of full Paras. Um, and he is. Awesome. That's good for us, actually, keeping this thing low. I'm just going to Soft Boiled here. Hopefully we break through. As we do. Awesome. And we're going to throw out another Moonblast now. Because uh, he has to Hyper Voice us here. And he's losing a lot of health in the process. And eventually, if I keep breaking through these full paras, then uh, he will not be able to knock us out anymore. But he does uh, get the full para right there. That's fine, though, because Metagross pretty much deals with his team with the combination of uh, Keldeo now. So I can let this go down. As he goes for Fire Blast, actually, which is not able to knock us out. And if we get a couple more breakthroughs right here, we'll be able to knock out this Altaria with Clefable alone. There we go, and there we go. Alright, awesome. So we're able to get rid of Altaria. That pretty much means that Keldeo has a field day with the remaining three. Uh, other than, of course, Clefable, but Metagross handles that. So that's uh, that's pretty much good. We only got one full para, which is really nice. A little lucky for us. Uh, but, I mean, again, Metagross would have just come in and clicked Meteor Mash. Any, any attack raise would have pretty much sealed up the game for me. So He does choose to go into Scizor. I don't know if this thing is just going to Bullet Punch me. I'm going to go for Flamethrower. He does go for the knockoff, actually, and is able to get rid of our leftovers. Flamethrower does connect and is able to knock out the Scizor, which means now Metagross wins. So that was, uh, was a little bit of a faux pas on my opponent's part, I think. Uh, Clefable does come in. I'm not too worried. Again, I have Metagross in the back. I'm just going to throw out a Moonblast. I don't, I don't know if he's going to avoid attacking me, but he's not. All right, cool. We're just going to go into Metagross here. Click Meteor Mash. His, uh, yeah, his Heatran can come in freely. But I'm pretty sure that... Okay, yeah, with the attack raise, that'll pretty much seal it, I think. Heatran. Uh, OE Specially Defensive versus Metagross. This should kill. This should definitely kill. Hammer Arm at plus one. Yeah, it does 113 min. That's max HP. Let's say he's max defense for whatever reason. I think it still kills. Uh, bold. 82% min. Yep, it still kills. And we're able to knock out Heatran. We should still be also faster than his Clefable. As long as we land the Meteor Mash, that should be game. And our opponent forfeits. We're going to keep it to a little bit of a short alive, guys. I think we still got three wins there. Uh, the one against the Mega Meta Champ team. The first one where our opponent forfeited. I don't want to leave it on that. But like I said, it was a little more of a laid back live. It's going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to cut it here. But uh, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like down below. Check out Jose on Twitter. Uh, hit him up. Let him know that his team is awesome. Uh, it's really cool. If you guys want to use it, just uh, I'll leave it 
it right here actually. Uh, here's the cleft set, we'll move over to Mega Metagross. You have all of these sets right here, you just have to pause it on your screen. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate all the support, and I will see you guys next time. Ciao!